seriously, I can't even fit my hair in the frame. But it's fine, we're thankful for the growth. Hey guys, it's Alyssa Marie here. Welcome back to my channel. I apologize for this big old thing being out of the frame right now. There's literally no way I can make it work unless I'm like back here. And that's kind of far, like that's, that's not gonna work. Today, I wanted to show you guys exactly how I like to refresh my curls. So right now I have my hair up how I had it when I went to sleep last night, like literally didn't even like clean it up, brush it up. I wanted to show you guys exactly what I do to refresh my curls and get them nice and popping and out in like a beautiful flourishing fro. Just before we get started, please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. It really helps me out a lot and I will honestly love you forever, pretty much. I love my subscribers. Now let's get started. All right, so like I said, literally, this is how I woke up with my hair today. I like to sleep with my hair up in a pineapple, mainly because it preserves these curls here at the end. This is the best method that I've used. I have tried other things that kind of just don't work. The pineapple, a loose pineapple is important, but the pineapple in general really helps to preserve my curls while I sleep. So in speaking about a loose pineapple, there's a specific clip that I use in order to clip it up and it's this thick hair tie right here. It's like fully seamless and it's nice and thick and very stretchy. I always pick these up at H&M in the checkout counter. Pretty sure that you can order these from Amazon as well. By the way, I have my little Amazon influencer page. So every single time I mention something on Instagram or YouTube, I link it to my page so you guys can have a place to go where you can just quickly access all the products that I love and all the products that I mention. So I'm pretty sure that I have these on there. They're perfect for big, thick, curly hair. And I literally just loop it around this one time to catch the pineapple and that's it. It's loose, it's comfortable, it's perfect. Like I can't live without these, but of course, you know, hair ties always go missing. So literally every single time I go to H&M, I buy about like two, three packs. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take mine out. Boom. So see what I mean? So when I just go ahead and shake my hair, it, like it's obviously still a little bit distorted right now, but as soon as I take it out, my hair just kind of, boom, just like falls right back into place. I don't know, it's like almost a little bit magical. So we're actually not looking too bad. This is day three hair. Obviously the curls are a little bit misplaced, but it's really not bad at all. So the first thing that I always start out with is my DIY refresher spray. I don't know, that's just what I've always called it, DIY, do it yourself. And you guys always hear me talk about it. So this is a spray bottle that I purchased on Amazon. This definitely is linked on my Amazon page. The link to my Amazon page will also be in my description box below, by the way. But this is just a mixture of water and conditioner. Literally, that's it. This is what I swear by to refresh my curls. All of those other pre-made curl refresher sprays, I don't believe in them. I've tried them, but they always end up making my hair feel a little bit sticky or they just don't do anything for my curls. This gets the job done. The spray bottle is bomb and then the mixture of conditioner and water is like, it's just perfect. I really believe that every single curl girl needs to have their DIY refresher spray. So really any kind of conditioner will work. Um, the conditioner that I just happen to have in here is the Cara Care Coalescence Moisturizing Conditioner, but honestly, any kind of conditioner will work. I kind of tend to prefer to use the more lightweight conditioners. You really don't need to put a lot of conditioner product in here. It's really just like a little squirt and then you mix the rest with water, you shake it up and then your water or your mixture will look milky like how this looks here. So yeah, whenever I'm refreshing my curls, I always, always, always start by this. And I'm just gonna go around here and kind of refresh all the areas, like the outer areas of my hair here. These are the areas that were like more manipulated throughout the night. So I just wanted to wake those up by spraying those first. All right, so as you can see, just by doing the refresher spray, it's kind of helping my curls get a little bit more into shape better. Like, you know, it's not looking as crazy. Um, I don't know if you can see, but I have some frizz on the top here. So the next step that I like to go in with, if it's just like a little bit of frizz, not a crazy amount of frizz, I will then just go in with some mousse. 
So the reason why I like to use mousse to kind of like combat my frizz here is because it has that like it's that wet consistency that will like wet the curl and get it to start like curling back up. But then it also has a level of hold that will keep it looking nice and refreshed all day. So y'all can see this like this is a little bit crazy. So just going to grab the mousse. By the way, the mousse that I'm using is the Design Essentials Natural Hair Almond and Avocado Curl Enhancing Mousse. If you guys have been watching my latest YouTube videos, you will see that I have really been experimenting with mousse lately. And this is really the best mousse that I've tried so far. All right, so to combat the frizz, I basically just take, take it curl by curl kind of, and then just smooth the mousse through. Boom, done, frizz is gone. So there's a little bit of frizz towards the top, which I'm usually okay with because that's what gives me the body. As long as my ends start to look more defined, then I'm cool with that. So I'm just gonna go through and continue doing this to all the frizzy spots that I kinda wanna get rid of. All right, so once I've gotten rid of all the frizz spots, I'm just going through and like kinda fluffing out my curls, get them all shaped. All right, so with how my curls are acting today, I could really just stop here. I've had other days when my hair is a lot more frizzy, a lot more unruly. So in that case, before I go through the mousse, I actually will go through with a cream, like a, a curl cream or even just a leave-in conditioner and then slap some mousse on top. I find that the combination of those two really like, it gives it like double control for the frizz. So y'all know I'm a gel girl for my wash and go, but I wanted to mention that I never, ever, 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 ever add additional gel when I refresh my curls. For majority of gels, when you add more gel on top of another old layer of gel, it creates like insane amount of buildup. Gel in general is a lot more heavier than for example mousse, so that's not really something that you're gonna want to keep slapping on in your hair. So gel for refresh, a definite no-no for me. So in terms of how often I refresh my curls, I only like to refresh my hair once. So I'll usually wash my hair and then refresh once during the week and then if I feel like it needs refreshing again, I'll just go ahead and wash it. Honestly, majority of the time, I really actually like to work with the frizz. So if I can do without adding any additional product and just go in with my refresher spray and that's it, I will do that and continue to fluff out my curls. And like I said, just work with the frizz. I kind of want to encourage you today to like work with your frizz and like find a way to own it and make it look good. Frizz really helps to intensify your volume. So maybe try not to stress too much about getting rid of frizz and instead try and figure out how you can make it work for you. So yeah guys, that is basically it. Short, sweet, and to the point. I really prefer to keep my refreshers super simple. Actually, my whole natural hair care regimen in general is a super simple one. A curly hair refresh does not always need to be complicated. It does not always need to involve four or five different products. Keep it simple and you'll find that your curls might actually prefer that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this and found it super useful. If you did, go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up. And also, don't forget to subscribe. It's a win-win situation. It helps your girl out and then it also helps you out because you will be notified every single time a bomb video drops. You might as well also just check out a few other videos here. You know, I've just conveniently plopped them right here just for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you in the next one. Bye.